Hello there. Welcome back to Selenium Ninja for Selenium training. Today we are going to discuss the differences between implicit weight, explicit weight and static weight. So before proceeding, we have the first question that is why do we need weights in Selenium? So we live in a times where high resolution photographs make everything better. So to load these photographs or the images, it takes some time for the web pages. Now, if we do not tell our script that uh, wait for some time, then it will not be able to find elements and thus there will occur some exceptions because we will not be able to click due to the loading issues. So to avoid these exceptions, we have different types of weights in Selenium. So the first one is the implicit weight. You can use the implicit weight when you are not clear with the flow. That means while execution, if there is any delay with the website or uh, if the element is not being located quickly, then you can tell the script, hey, wait for 10 seconds before throwing an exception. Or you can say wait for 5 seconds as per your requirement. When we are not clear with the situation, then we can go ahead with implicit weight. As we are declaring implicit weight globally, thus it is applied to all the elements in the script. The disadvantage of uh, implicit weight is that uh, sometimes it lowers the execution because it is uh, applied to all the elements. The syntax uh, of the implicit weight is driver dot manage. I'm, I might make some mistakes here, but in my previous video, I have uh, mentioned uh, the syntax and the execution dot timeouts dot implicitly wait and it takes two arguments. The first argument is the integer type that how many seconds you want to use in the script and the second argument is the time unit. You can declare this time unit in many options like nanoseconds, milliseconds, minutes, etc. The other type of weight is the explicit weight. Explicit means something that is very clear without any ambiguity. It means when we are clear which particular element is taking some time to load, we can use explicit weight for this particular element only and thus our entire script will save time. Why to waste our time for something that isn't important? That means in the implicit weight as we declare it globally it can be used for the entire script but the explicit weight is explicitly used for the particular element. It is an intelligent weight. We have some uh, types of expected conditions in explicit weight. Uh, the first condition is like uh, visibility of elements located. That means uh, it verifies uh, if the given element is present or not. There are some other methods also and we will see them in the next coming lectures. The last part that we are going to discuss here is the static weight. This static weight is used to pause the execution for a specified amount of time. We have one method called thread.sleep as a static weight. Thread.sleep is not a good practice to use because it halts the process for the given time. It basically pauses the execution for a specified amount of time. Now, suppose you have provided 5 seconds for an element, but that element is available within two seconds only but it will exactly wait for five seconds to complete and then proceed with it so it can also be considered as part of an explicit weight because we also apply it on a particular element this is sometimes called an static weight so the best practice is to go with implicit and explicit weight to improve the execution process I hope guys this video was helpful for the interview purpose and also for real time projects. Thank you and stay tuned uh, with this playlist.